Hey guys. So, this happened after one day of using this Keychron K2 and the HyperX wristrest. So I just want to share with you guys a recap of what I did that resulted in this aching arm after using just the Keychron K2 and the wrist rest for just one day. I basically used this to type and research and edit. I rested this fleshy part of my palm on it while I type. But after an hour or two of using and typing, I felt like this part, the fleshy part, was actually burning. I have no idea why. So I thought maybe that was not the best way to position the wrist rest. So I pushed the wrist rest closer to me and rested my forearm on the wrist rest while I typed. And again, after an hour or two, this part, the forearm part, felt like it was aching. So I was like, hmm, I'm just going to do without the HyperX wrist rest and just try to type and float my hands above the Keychron K2 to type. But the thing is, I realized that my hand and wrist would tend to rest on the table like that while I'm editing. And the thing is, I read up enough about the carpal tunnel syndrome to know that that is not the best position. My wrist is supposed to maintain the neutral position while I'm typing and it's supposed to float above the Keychron K2. At that point of time, my hands were already aching from the whole wrist rest situation. This got so bad that I have to wear my Apple Watch on my right wrist instead of the left, which is what I'm so used to. So now it feels weird that my Apple Watch is on the right. Although this caused me serious pain on my arm, I do see why it is praised by so many. I mean, even though it hurt me, I have to admit there are features of the K2 that I still like very much. Let's talk about the frame. It is made of aluminium and it feels really, really sturdy. I gave this and let my dad try and he was like, wow, this is heavy, this is really a big boy. And what I love about this is charge using USB-C. So very, very handy because I have all my USB-C charger already placed on my desk. I mean, I can simply use my Mac charger to charge this and like everything just works because everything USB-C. Perfect. And this is actually the Keychron K2 V2. So for most people, it is supposed to be more comfortable to type on. But for me, apparently it isn't and it costs like this, so unlucky me. One thing I like about this is how you can switch between Bluetooth and cable uh, to type on this. So if you're gaming and you need low latency, you can actually plug in cable and type. But if you want a cleaner setup without cables, go for Bluetooth. My favorite thing about this keyboard is how you can connect with three separate devices and switch between them with just like two clicks. Function one, function two, or function three. One thing that I've already mentioned in the previous video, this comes to fault with the Mac keyboard layout and that's my favorite thing because when you make something for Mac users, it just makes me so happy. And finally, typing on this feels so satisfying. I feel more motivated to type and do research and write and edit when I'm using this keyboard. It feels like every key you press has a purpose and like it just sounds so satisfying to my ears hearing the sound. I know that there are nicer sounding keyboards but this is pretty good and definitely an upgrade from this flat profile quieter keyboard that I have here. But yeah, that's my short review for the K2 Keychron. For its price, it's pretty worthwhile for anyone who fancies a mechanical keyboard. Links in the description if you still like this. The K2 has all the basic requirements that I want in a keyboard. It sounds great, it feels great, and it works with both Mac and Windows, and it has Bluetooth. But unfortunately, the frame is too high for me. I would definitely recommend for you to try it out first before buying. It's a pass for me. And I'm going to go to the store to exchange it for the K1. It is one of the flattest mechanical keyboard in the market. So I'm hoping that that will work for me. I thought the wrist rest was going to solve the problem, but it didn't. And I think it made my hands worse in a way. So I wouldn't recommend getting the wrist rest, at least um, 
from my experience, I wouldn't recommend it because I didn't really have a good experience with it. But you may have a different body type. You may have a different experience with a wrist rest. Yeah, but for me, it just didn't work out. But I'm really curious about how you guys actually type on your mechanical keyboards if you have them. And maybe you guys can give me some tips so that in future, if I want to like risk my wrist again, I can try that. But for now, I'm just gonna go with the flat profile keyboard and I'm gonna hope that the K1 works for me. Yeah. Take care for now, stay minty and cheery. Goodbye.